A new study suggests that life originally began inside the most mysterious objects in the universe, and that some of the first life forms could have emerged in the very early universe, just seconds after the Big Bang. This is a mind-blowing idea that challenges our conventional understanding of the origin and evolution of life. How could life exist inside black holes, where nothing can escape, not even light? How could these life forms survive the extreme conditions and evolve into more complex organisms? How could they spread to other regions of the universe and possibly reach our planet? In this video, we will explore these questions and more, based on the latest research and scientific evidence. We will also discuss the implications and significance of this idea for the search for extraterrestrial life and the mysteries of the cosmos. If you are curious and fascinated by this topic, make sure to watch till the end and leave your comments below. Before we dive into the idea of life inside black holes, let's first understand what kind of black holes we are talking about. These are not the regular black holes that form from the collapse of massive stars. These are much smaller and older black holes that are called primordial black holes. Primordial black holes are hypothetical objects that could have formed in the very early universe, just fractions of a second after the Big Bang. According to some theories, the universe was filled with tiny fluctuations in density and pressure that could have collapsed into black holes under the influence of gravity. These black holes could have a wide range of sizes, from as small as an atom to as large as a mountain, or even bigger. The existence of primordial black holes has not been confirmed by any observation or experiment, but there are some indirect clues that suggest they might be out there. For example, some astronomers have proposed that primordial black holes could be the source of the mysterious dark matter that makes up most of the mass of the universe. Others have suggested that primordial black holes could be responsible for some of the gravitational waves that have been detected by the LIGO and Virgo observatories. But the idea of life inside black holes is based on the assumption that some of these primordial black holes are large enough and spin fast enough to create a habitable region inside them. This region is called the Cauchy horizon, and it is the inner boundary of the black hole, where the laws of physics break down. In the next section, we will see how this region could host some of the first life forms in the universe. A new study suggests that life originally began inside the most mysterious objects in the universe, and that some of the first life forms could have emerged in the very early universe, just seconds after the Big Bang. They assumed that some of the matter that falls into the black hole could form complex molecules, such as DNA or RNA, that could store and transmit information. These molecules could then evolve into simple life forms, such as bacteria or viruses, that could survive and reproduce inside the black hole. The researchers also assumed that these life forms could adapt to the high temperature, pressure, and radiation inside the black hole and even use them as sources of energy. They calculated that the optimal size and spin of the black hole for life to exist would be about 10 to the power of 8 kilograms and 0.9, respectively. This means that the black hole would have a mass of about 100 million kilograms, or about the mass of a cruise ship, and a spin of about 90% of the maximum possible value. They also estimated that the temperature inside the black hole would be about 10 to the power of 10 Kelvin, or about a billion times hotter than the surface of the sun. The researchers acknowledge that their model is very simplified and idealized, and that there are many uncertainties and challenges that need to be addressed. For example, how would the complex molecules form and interact inside the black hole? How would life forms avoid being destroyed by the singularity at the center of the black hole? How would the life forms communicate and cooperate with each other? These are some of the open questions that require further investigation and experimentation. However, the researchers also argued that their idea is not impossible and that it is consistent with the known laws of physics and biology. They also claim that their idea has some advantages over other scenarios for the origin of life, such as the primordial soup or hydrothermal vents. For instance, their idea does not depend on the presence of liquid water or organic molecules, which are rare and scarce in the early universe. It also does not require a long and gradual process of chemical evolution, which could take billions of years. 
but it could explain how life could emerge and evolve in a very short time, just seconds after the Big Bang. But how could these life forms get out of the black hole and reach other planets and stars? After all, black holes are supposed to trap everything inside them, right? Well, not exactly. There is a way that black holes can lose mass and energy over time, and that is through a process called Hawking radiation, which is a phenomenon that was predicted by the famous physicist Stephen Hawking in 1974. He showed that, due to quantum effects, black holes can emit particles and radiation from their event horizon, which is the outer boundary of the black hole. This means that black holes are not completely black, but rather they glow with a fainter and fainter light as they evaporate. The researchers of the new study proposed that Hawking radiation could also carry some of the life forms that live inside the black hole to the outside world. They calculated that the optimal size and spin of the black hole for life to escape would be about 10 to the power of 11 kilograms and 0.99, respectively. This means that the black hole would have a mass of about 100 billion kilograms, or about the mass of a small asteroid, and a spin of about 99% of the maximum possible value. They also estimated that the temperature of the Hawking radiation would be about 10 to the power of 7 Kelvin, or about 10 times hotter than the surface of the sun. They suggested that some of the life forms that escape the black hole could survive the high temperature and radiation of the Hawking radiation and even use them as sources of energy. They also suggested that some of the life forms could hitchhike on the particles and radiation that are emitted by the black hole and travel to other regions of the universe. Some of these life forms could colonize new environments, such as planets, moons, asteroids, or comets, and adapt to different conditions, according to the research. They speculated that this process could have happened many times in the history of the universe, and that some of the life forms that originated from black holes could have reached our own solar system and our own planet. They also said that some of these life forms could still be living among us, or even inside us, without us knowing. This is a fascinating and provocative idea that has profound implications for the origin and diversity of life on Earth and beyond. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new uploads. And don't forget to leave your comments below and let me know what you think of this idea and what other topics you would like me to cover in the future. I would love to hear from you and answer your questions. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.